we are to prioritize so that we put relationship before tasks. Let me just say that again. We are to prioritize so we put relationship before tasks. And of course, the ideal story for this is Mary and Martha, right? And I don't know about you, but I can be neurotic about like, I have to unload the dishwasher, I have to get the laundry folded, I have to do all this stuff before I could possibly tend to any people. <laughs> you know? Do you ever find yourself doing that? Like, these things need to be done before I can deal with you people. Which is actually probably flipped around from what Jesus would say to us. So let's just allow myself, allow, allow me to read Luke 10. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord whispered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken from her. So I wanted to give you 16 signs that you may be too busy, although some of these signs, just in all honesty, could come from other causes as well, certainly. But here are 16 signs that you might be overly busy. Health problems, could be headaches, frequent headaches, shoulder pain, upset stomach, Lots of colds because you have a, a weakened immune system. What about excessive reliance on self-soothing things like food and alcohol or porn or shopping or whatever the thing is that would be your self-soothing go-to thing? Because you're so busy, you, you need to medicate yourself with this thing. I have done this before with food. Like, you know, busy, busy, busy. I'll oh, just have some double stuff over it. I love those things. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one in over a year. Anyway, but uh, or whatever, maybe for you it's the crunch of the chips and now you're, you're eating the whole bag of chips or whatever, right? Or, or it could be shopping or it could be alcohol or whatever, but that could be a sign that you're actually overly busy and you're, you're medicating your, your insanity with this self-soothing thing. Another huge sign is strained relationships, maybe with your husband. Uh, and he might complain you're too busy or that he feels unimportant or he feels neglected. In my first marriage, this happened and I just went <clears throat> Another symptom could be girlfriends kind of dropping away or they stop inviting you to join them because you're always turning them down anyway because you're so busy. Or your kids don't really open up and have meaningful talks with you anymore. Now, if they're one, they probably have not had too many meaningful talks. <laughs> but I'm talking, you know, maybe a six-year-old or 10-year-old or 15-year-old if you find that they, they don't really try to talk to you anymore, sometimes it's because we're too busy. Mom doesn't really pay attention anyway. She doesn't stop what she's doing. She doesn't have eye contact with me because she's so busy. So they just don't really talk to you anymore. Or your sex life with your husband deteriorates or feels like an unwanted chore. Here's a huge sign that you're overly busy. Everyone in your house seems irritable. Everyone in your house is irritable. Because if mom's not happy, no one's happy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed how we sort of set the atmosphere in the house? And if we are too busy, thus kind of stressed, we're a little snappy, everyone else is a little edgy and snappy, and pretty soon everyone is bothering everybody and no one's happy. Yeah. Another sign, your relationship with God isn't as vibrant or exciting as it used to be. That could be a sign that you're overly busy. Or you just tend to snap at people and find yourself criticizing a lot or even yelling a lot. Could be a sign you're overly busy. Another sign, you have simmering resentment toward others who aren't doing as much or you tend to lash out at them because they're not doing as much as you. Oh, there was this woman. She's still a good friend of mine. I had her over this week. She's been a friend for like 25 years. And we, our kids grew up together, you know, they, they were the exact same age, and we went to the same church together, and she annoyed me so much. I still remember this, because <laughs> I was volunteering for all the things that needed to be done at the church, because someone has to do it, and she had the nerve to say, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm like, that's your answer? <laughs> like, well, it has to be done. Someone's got to be doing this, and got to be doing this, and, she, and she's like, I prayed about it and I just don't feel like that's what God's called me to do. I'm like, this is an unacceptable answer. What does that 
even mean? It has to be done. So I guess I'll have to do your job too. And so I'm running around doing all these things and I'm printing and I'm biting everyone's head off and I'm, you know, stuffing my feet and I'm, and she was so peaceful and it just was so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> I told her about that years later and she's like, oh, sorry. But, I, but she actually had her life in balance and she consulted God. What, what a concept for a church person, you know? <laughs> she actually consulted, like I didn't even do that. She consulted God and she, and she felt like, no, this is not my time to be doing these particular things that I feel peaceful, that I'm just supposed to be tending to some things at home. And, and she irritated me so much, but, and I had this simmering resentment toward her, but it was because I, my life was out of balance. And I actually craved what she had. That's why I had the resentment. I wanted what she had. It was like, mm. Okay, another sign that you might be overly busy. You suffer from anxiety or depression. And again, other causes can, can explain some of these, these signs, but sometimes it's because we're overly busy. Or you find yourself forgetting important things like paying a bill on time or picking up a child from school because your mind is on overload and you have so many. Another sign that you're overly busy, you have no patience. You have no patience. Because patience takes time and you don't have time. That's right. <laughs> Another symptom, the last time you prepared a healthy dinner was three weeks ago. Because who has time to do these things? The last time you had a date night with your husband was three months ago. The last time you had one hour of total solitude with God was three years ago. <laughs> these are signs that you're overly busy. 